what? Like, yes, Hunties. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be by a company called Best Hair By. This is, I think, the first or maybe the second time I've worked with them, but they did send me their 13 by 6 deep parting lace front wig, 250% density, 22 inches, hunties. This is a lace front, like I said, has combs on the in the back and an adjustable strap and in the sides there are combs and as you guys seen i did put an adjustable strap in so i did pre-pluck this unit but prior to that i did bleach the knots in it the knots were really not that bad at all the lace is transparent so you guys cannot even see it like definitely invisible and that is the one thing that i'm feeling about this unit that the lace is transparent um the hair did shed just a little bit the curls do really pop back once you brush them out because i did have to pre-pluck the unit just to get the hairline a little bit more customized for myself so in the interim of pre-plucking it you know you do want to brush the hair to make sure that there aren't any loose hairs all throughout the unit so i did brush the curls out of it but once i washed and conditioned it for a second time they just pop right back they reformed so it was super easy now, as you guys see here, I went ahead and I'm going to create some of my sideburn hairs. Prior to that, I did customize it by cutting off a little bit of the excess lace that was over the flap of my ear. And now, just to hold down my sideburns, I'm going to take my gel, which is by the Got To Be brand. And this is the Glam Force collection. And I'm going to just spritz that or just place that on the sideburns along with the matching hairspray, which I absolutely do love, and just press that into the lace. This lace was a little bit difficult cold to apply at first meaning normally when I spray some of my hairspray on any lace um, wig normally the lace will just melt right down or just lay down flat I'll have no issues um, and it will just dry flat sometimes I don't even need to use the blow dryer but for this one I had to kind of like maneuver and kind of like finagle around it but either way it ended up being like a really natural hairstyle I exceptionally love the lace like it is very see-through and normally when you get lace that is so transparent and just blends and melts into your skin the wig itself can cost a lot so being that this one is 22 inches and it's 250 percent density it is 251 dollars but if you don't want that much density or hair or length you don't have to opt out for the pricier one there will also be some coupon codes that i will place in the video description box along with on the screen so you guys can keep that in mind in case you want to check them out but the hair quality is good i like it as you guys see here i'm just gonna blow dry it and just make it you know just adhere it to my head i like the lace on it you know i love long curly hair and such and the products that i use are really simple and just the installation alone is super easy you don't have to use glue i don't really like to use glue because it just kind of takes away from it and it also gets really really messy when i've used hairspray this this wig will stay on my day my head for like two to three days so you know if you don't want to use all that extra product you don't have to now once again you will see me right here as you guys see the wig is a little bit too big so i'm just going to part it right directly over the top of my earlobe and i'm just going to pull that hair up and then i'm going to cut alongside that part so that way i can customize the wig and make it fit properly to my head circumference you will get your wig sometimes a little bit too big because each one's head is different sizes these are standard size so if you do find that your wig is a little bit too big and it's laying or overlapping your ears you can always just part it above your ears and cut off the excess lace it's not going to take anything away from the wig it's actually going to help you apply the wig in a more proper manner and it will definitely lay so once again i'm just going to do the sideburns and the wispy hairs you guys know i do this as an all-time thing i like my sideburn hairs and not too much the wispy or the baby hairs but you know i definitely gotta have these sideburns here you know if i don't have them then my wig feels like it's naked you know what i'm saying so as you guys see i just placed some gel and some hairspray i'm just laying it down sculpting and just playing around with these wispy hairs and such and then i'm just going to blow dry the product 
down and I'm going to use this on a cool to medium heat temperature. I preferably prefer cool because I'm not trying to be like scorching my skin off or nothing like that. You know, and I use my favorite styling brush as you guys can see. It's my green toothbrush. I love it. And you just want to take your time. You can either use your brush, your edge brush. You can also use the rat tail end of the comb to press it down. You know, when you use the hairspray, it doesn't really stick to your hands. So that's the good thing that I like about the hairspray. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry if some of the video cut off because as I was recording it and recording it, it was recording. And then when I stopped to record it, just to pause it for a second, it told me my card had an error so like the last two clips it probably was of me just like applying it but you guys know the gist of it i just used my got to be hairspray to apply the wig so that way it'll stay on so it's not going anywhere best hair buy this wig is bomb as hell like seriously this is a nice wig the hairline is like bomb okay the lace is so transparent like the lace is bomb you don't really have to do a lot of blending the only issue that i did have with this wig is that normally when I spray down any type of hairspray on a lace it will just automatically lay like flat and I won't have any problems like pressing the hairspray into the wig lace like the lace would just just like lay right down but this one didn't I had to basically get the blow dryer out and blow dry the lace for it to dry for it to just like stick to it so that was the issue I'm not sure if it had to do with the makeup that was like on the hair perimeter but I've never had any issue before with my makeup like right there when I was applying hairspray and a lace wig and they always stuck so that was the only issue I had was with the lace but overall the cap size is great I did notice that there isn't a comb in the nape area so that is one thing you may want to just put a comb back there because I know me I love a good comb like for real I like a comb to be in the nape of my neck okay prefer preferably two like the one that they put in the middle y'all could put both of them back there like forget the one like I'm saying big companies okay but this hair is gorgeous soft 22 inches hunty lace frontal you get a nice decent amount of parting it goes all the way back here in the back okay I did bleach the knots okay and I did pre pre-plucked the hairline so like the pre the hairline was pre-plucked for me but i just did a little bit of extra steps and it wasn't i don't think it was bleached knots because i wouldn't have bleached them as much but i don't even think any of it was bleached so you know i did have to bleach it because you know I just had to bleach it um the cap construction is great this is the first time that i've ever worked with this company and you know the price range for this wig which is 22 inches i cannot remember the density so you know i'll definitely have like a little pop to show but um i think it's probably like 150 percent density or no excuse me this one is 250 percent density because i do remember telling someone that um so i think i said 250 but if it is 250 it doesn't look like 250 because i would think 250 is like really big but you do get a nice Nice amount of volume with this lace front like it is gorgeous you know what I'm saying I just let it air dry because it's waves loose curls loose waves whatever you want to call it and it came out nice nice amount of hair look at the hairline like it looks natural it's not like overbearing and like too much baby hairs or wispies like loose wave and curly my go-to boo like yes hunties and the hairline wasn't all boxy shaped. So I like, this one is great. This one is good, okay? So I think this wig was like 251, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, like, you know, you get what you pay for. It's not cheap, it's not expensive, too expensive. It's like middle range. You always gonna have to customize it. I did have to cut the sides because it was a little bit too long for me. But that, you know what, that's cool because everybody's head circumference is different, so. Girl, get you a wig, do it big, look cute with your curls. Like, you know, it's about to be really nice outside. So you got to look cute. This is like pool side here, baby. Pool side. You know, you just pull up on them and you sit by the pool and you look really cute. Right. So I love you guys. Check the info box below and I will see you guys in another video. Uh, uh,